This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. When Jim comes back, he's put into a very brief angle where he's uh, working with the Intercontinental Champion, Shawn Michaels. Certainly an interesting pairing, a big styles clash between the two. But Sean was known for being able to ha- get a good match out of pretty much anybody. What can you tell us about this pairing? It does feel, I don't know, a little different Duggan and Sean. It's definitely off and probably more than anything. It was as much. I hate to say it, a match for match sake and looking at Sean to go out there and, and have that great match. And you get to see what Duggan can do. And I think both delivered on their part more than anything. They had a match on the May 3rd raw for the title, which Jim wins by count out when Sean runs through the crowd and the following week on raw, they have a rematch, but this time it's to prevent Sean from running through the crowd. Again, they do a lumberjack match. And for those who don't know, cause we don't see these all the time. So there's a ton of wrestlers surrounding the ring. And so if one of the participants of the match leaves the ring, the wrestlers on the outside or lumberjacks, as they're called in this situation, throw the guys back in the ring. Well, Sean winds up winning this by DQ and that's pretty much the end of the feud. And then from there, Jim's in the King of the ring tournament, uh, the very first one on pay-per-view in June of 93. And he defeats Papa Shango to qualify for the tournament. But at the pay-per-view he's pinned by Bam Bam Bigelow and then eliminated. And after this, he would be programmed with the world champion Yokozuna on house shows throughout the summer. But of course, Yoko wins all of those and retains. But he winds up leaving the company not too terribly long after this. And I guess it's worth mentioning that Hulk Hogan is finishing up here at King of the ring and Jim Duggan is one of his pals. So when Hogan winds up working with WCW, ultimately Duggan is in tow and he's going to wind up working for WCW. And Jim says during this time in the WWF, if he didn't work, he didn't get paid. And WCW offered him a guaranteed contract. So he took it. And this is the time when a lot of guys are sort of jumping ship, you know, not just Hulk Hogan, but eventually macho man and the honky tonk man and the big boss man and main gene and Bobby Heenan. And we see so many of these iconic WWF characters jump ship to WCW. How does Vince take it when it sort of comes to an end here for Jim Duggan and the world wrestling federation. You know, it's kind of like we took everybody else. It was hard in the beginning, but the reality of the situation was that this was during the time that Turner was able to offer guys these contracts where they didn't work. They still got paid. And with us, you got paid when you worked. So it was, the beginning of the battle, so to speak. And Duggan was one. I know that was definitely a selling point for Hulk, but that, Hey guys, you're going to get a guaranteed contract. You're going to know what you're going to make. The only difference was, is that their what they could make was capped per their contract and ours. You made what you made no matter what it was. Um, so it was just a difference in philosophy and times were changing. So, I don't think anybody blames Duggan for going. He he did what he needed to do for his family. As we mentioned, he, uh, he goes to WCW with all of his, his old pals. He winds up becoming the United States champion in 1994, beating some guy named stunning Steve Austin. He loses it to Vader at Starcade 94. Did you keep up with Duggan at all? during his WCW years, or is this one of those deals where he's a work friend, but when y'all don't work together, you just sort of lose touch. We did kind of lose touch, but every once in a while I would see Duggan and always friendly. And I've always considered Duggan a friend and, uh, no matter where you were, your personal feelings and you've got to, you know, you got to remember that, that business is business and personal is personal. And I've always had a good relationship with, Jim, no matter where he's been. And I would see him from time to time when he was at WCW. And to me, it's just Jim Duggan. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.